Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Afternoon everyone. It's Monday the 25th of May. Uh, I'm on my farm permission today with a 20 cal rapid and with an ATN shot track. So I'm fed up with keep swapping my XI over to different guns. So I've set it up on the new Dreamline Compact. So I'm using the uh, shot track to film any shooting today. So I've got 20 car rapid uh, in my little hide in the head, shooting up at the power lines. And they seem to gather occasionally. Uh, it's about half past three quarter to four in the afternoon. So I have a few hours here, see if I can get a few and then uh, take it from there. Hope you've all been keeping well. Hope you can get back out hunting now, as we're allowed to. Um, I'll see how I get on. Take care, speak to you soon. Well, it doesn't take long for the first customer to arrive. I've been practicing shooting at the uh, power lines and I managed to clip them every time. So back of the headshot for that crow and it was all over. Right now it's straight forward from there. And then every so often, they seem to descend into the yard by the hundreds. Uh, so I turn to my left with the power lines on my right, just waiting for the opportunity for one to settle. And one does just on top of the water tank in front of me. He's only about 20 yards away, just there in the circle. Take him straight with the back of the head with a shot. And he's down. No problem at that distance. And then I get a pair of visitors turn up. So I can't shoot through the fence anymore. It wouldn't be safe. Hello. Hello. You're all lucky Mac is a shot. You're all right. I'll leave you to it then, I'll go somewhere else. Okay, I've moved up here now for the last few shots. I'm shooting over the top of the cattle into the shed where the jet doors are coming through the back and magpies. I'll give it an hour or so. So I get on here before I pack up and go. Sorry, just watching a jack door come in above me. Okay. The camera net is just to stop the bottle getting scratched on the uh, gate. <laughs> Doesn't take long for the first visitors to arrive. They don't see me, so I have to be quick. That one there, look, still post as a backdrop. No problem, down he goes, 20 yards. Jack is a major problem here in these sheds. Young magpie, had to be quick here. Started filming, had to shoot straight away before he spotted me. Down he goes, no problem. There seems to be a lot of magpies at this top end as well. There's a jack door landed on the back. Take a shot at him. Must whistle by his head. Just slightly uh, underestimated the windage. Took another shot. Didn't get it wrong that time. Very nice of him to wait for a second go. Much obliged. There's a few magpies uh, flying about now. So I'll stuck the recorder on. Ready for one to land. It seems to be quite a productive area to stand and shoot at this end. As long as you can sort of get in quick. Before they uh, realise you're there. You only get a few seconds. I think it's just a flying in from the light to the dark that throws her eyesight for a short time. There's a magpie just in that tree. You can't see him very well on the video, but you'll see him drop when I take the shot. That tree's at about 40 yards, which is about half a mil dot for the 20 cal. Zeroed at 35 yards using H&M field target trophies. Uh, shooting at eight times magnification. 
lovely flat shooting round the 20 cal. There's a magpie on the top of that tree. Another 40 yard shot. No problem at all. Nice and easy. And he's down. Next one. I have to do a bit of gentle shuffling along so he doesn't see me. So I've got to get that cow's head out of the way in front in case he puts his head up. Got to get around that steel post. That's it, it's better. And the cow moves out of the way. I just need that black cow at the back to shift or I can take the shot. And luckily he obliges. The jackdaw waits and down he goes. Not only have you got to concentrate on your target, you've got to concentrate on what's behind you as well around you, especially when you're shooting like around this cattle sheds. So I've had a wander down now back towards the car and I just see a load of them flying around the silage clamp so I've shuffled down behind a post leaning through a fence have a crack at this guy, the wind's got up, it just seems to just clip a feather but uh, I just noticed to my right there's another one it flies up from the silage clamp, it must have been down below here he comes and sits just there which is beautiful I'll take that, thank you very much down he goes and that's it, not bad little outing for a few hours get back in the swing of things if you are a hunter hope you manage to get out yourselves and uh, get some action take care, stay safe keep your families safe we all get through this together out the other side and try and get back to normal ok if you enjoyed that like, subscribe and share and until next time Take care. See you soon.